calling to see my friend uh, Kimmy in right now. Rainy day in Brooklyn. So this is my shrine room. This is where I do my practice. Um, this is a picture of my teacher. Adds some Palo Rinpoche, he still lives in Tibet. All of my practices are, are, you have to have the empowerment from the master, you can't just... We'll say it's not Barnes and Noble Buddhism. How about that? <laughs> this is this is the real deal, um, and it's really heavy stuff. Wait, 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 let's go check out some art, maybe. Well, there's some art oh, here. Some art. This, this one, I, so this is my older style. This is, you know, these figures came out of, you know, being a DJ and looking out into the crowd and only seeing form, seeing human form, and they represent the androgyny of the human condition. So it's interesting that, that the androgyny started to fade away as I did, as I started to do Buddhist practice. It became more, you know, masculine and feminine depictions in my work. I mean, you would think that it would be kind of other way around, but it wasn't. These paintings are Katrina Darling. They're body prints of Katrina Darling, who, uh, Playboy cover girl, we actually brought to Whip, who did her debut in America. Um, and then the guy that I was doing the shows with, Lyle, started managing her, got her on the cover of Playboy, we did another show with her, and then she came and, uh, and we did these prints. They're actually, I actually painted her body and printed the canvases on her, so it's not just a, an interpretation of her, it's actually her body. So. This is the Buddha of the future, which represents all of us, really. Like, so we're all ultimately to be enlightened, and he represents that in us. Um, yeah, my work is very steeped in Buddhism because it's such an important part of my life, and it's just, you know, it became evident and just shows up more and more, and, and that's the subject matter that I'm interested in, in doing. I put it, this is the my subconscious. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so um, you've, how long have you been in New York for? I've been in New York since 98. So, you know, this yeah. is my fifth, I just celebrated my 15th birthday here. Well, you're... In, uh, September the 10th is my, um, is my anniversary day. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Um, and so, I've always, you know, my whole adult life, at 19 I started DJing and I started throwing parties soon after that. And, um... The whole reason I started throwing parties was so I didn't have to wait for somebody to call me to get a gig. That whole punk rock and do-it-yourself thing has always been very important to me. I did some modeling with, with Mario Sorrenti, um, the famed photographer, when I, was, when I was 19. And him and his assistant, Frank Buscarello, told me they came to my house, stayed with me for two weeks. We shot this campaign that was supposed to be for Stussy and it ended up not coming out. Um, but they stayed with me for two weeks and Mario said to me, Kimmy and you're a New Yorker and you don't even realize it, you need to come and visit. Do you feel, how, what do you, how do you feel the, about the art scene in New York City right now? How do you feel about the music scene in New York City uh, right now? The art scene and the art scene are both a little contrived, but you know, you have that. Like New York is about having to search out quality. It's always been that. It's always been quantity over quality. So I, I liken that to the music business and the art business. And there's a lot of politics and there's a lot of, you know, ass kissing and and you know formalities and and all of that jerk off stuff as far as i'm concerned i'm worried about quality in music and in art i mean this this buddhist inspired urban work is the series is called urban terma and terma is a tibetan term that means um treasure so you know, all of these, the teachings of our tradition were found by masters. They have these revelations, they're like, I need to go into this place in the woods and I'm going to find this, you know, this teaching. So it's, it's treasure that's revealed by the Tertan. The Tertan is the treasure revealer. Um, and so I call this series the Urban Terma because it's, you know, the juxtaposition of our Western lifestyle with this Eastern philosophy and how it's really not the same thing at all but how I've infused it into my life. I hide mantra in the work. So, you know, it's treasure, it's hidden. So you can figure out what that says if you want, if you, if you take the time to look. But, you know, 
kind of an ode to Basquiat. It's like, you know, the more you hide it, the harder they're trying to read it kind of thing. Man. Well, thanks a lot, man. Good to see you. Thanks for having me in your studio. No problem. All right, that's New York Natives, Underground Art Series, me and Kimian.